from our previous example of showing how to put the yoke assembly on a small e size cylinder, we're going to give a sample calculation that would be required of transporting a patient. In this case, the regulator read between 1,400 and 1,500 pounds, so to conserve in safety for the patient, we're going to use 1,400 psi. And it's an E cylinder, so we know being it's an E cylinder, it uses a 0.28 cylinder factor. And according to doctor's orders, the flow was 4 liters per minute. So we're going to divide that by 4 liters per minute. And the answer for that is what's going to give us our actual time in, in minutes. And then if you want to convert whatever time that is in minutes, Let's just say real quick math, it's about three, it's about, let's say about 120 minutes. So say you got 120 minutes, you just divide it by 60, which would give you two hours. Of course, that's just an estimation, and I don't have a calculator here, but you would do that for any patient flow so you can figure out how long the cylinder will last. In this case, the E-tank, we got the 1,400 off the cylinder gauge, the 0.28 is a conversion factor to make all the units match up and cancel each other out, and the 4 liters per minute was the doctor's prescribed orders. Now another example we could have, say we use a G-size tank. The doctor gives us an order of 5 liters per minute, let's just say. So we're going to hook up a regulator to a G-size tank. Say once we hook up the regulator using the ASS connectors, the regulator, let's say, reads 2,000 pounds. So we're going to use the same formula and substitute 2,000 PSI for the pressure. Now the G-cylinder uses a conversion factor of 2.41. So we're going to use that conversion factor, 2.41, and the doctor's orders were 5 liters per minute. Now at this point, all you got to do is take these numbers, punch them into your calculator, and it's going to give you an answer in minutes. Now if you want the answer converted to hours, divide the minutes by hours, and it'll give you the number of hours and fractions of hours for you to calculate down to hours and minutes. And the equation's the same. It's oh, the equation's always the cylinder gauge pressure times the cylinder factor, which is either 0.28 for an E cylinder. 2.41 for a G cylinder. This is oxygen. Or 3.14 for an H and K cylinder. And yes, these values are all for oxygen and air filled tanks. And then under it would be your flow. So basically, the formula is cylinder pressure gauge reading, the cylinder factor which each cylinder for different gases has a different factor. These factors is for oxygen and air. And then you divide it by your flow, which the doctor will prescribe as 2 to 10 or however many liters per minute. And that's going to give you your flow duration. And the reason this is important, in case you're transferring a patient, you know it takes, say we're going from Norfolk to Richmond, it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Knowing the tidewater traffic, you should probably leave with probably two hours worth and be safe. So that way you don't run out of oxygen. You're better to have more oxygen transporting the patient than not enough, obviously. And calculating flow duration is as simple as that. Just remember this formula and remember a few of the conversion factors and you're good to go and your patients will always have enough air and oxygen to breathe. Thank you and have a good day.